Howdy folks and welcome back once more. It's apparently now daylight in Ravenloft, Strahd's possession. Today, I guess we're going to the cemetery. If I can figure out how to actually operate a gate, which is, I guess, an ask in this video game. That looks like a button. Sadly, it is not. What the fuck? Random ghoul. Get out of here. Alright, there are a lot of some things out here that it looks- Oh, I don't have- I don't have nearly enough burning hands to deal with this. Look at all these things! It's chilling out. What are you guys? Are you ghouls? Are you more ghouls? Yes. Oh, that- that's a white. <laughs> ah, it begins. My god, so many of them. There we go. Hello, Ri oh, dagger. Oh, that's that was Rove's. All right, Rove man, we gotta we gotta get you some some first level spells that aren't magic missile. I'd forgotten how like creature dense these maps were. Holy shit! Can we go in? Yes? Yes? Yes. Oh, that was a ghast. Okay. Uh, ice knife. I'm gonna be swapping out spells here momentarily, I think. Find a chest with... Ooh, some goodies. Mage scroll closet. Why? Stop it! <laughs> Stop giving me fucking claws of the Umberhulk. All the goddamn spells to put in this these fucking games. And another key ring. Alright. Mostly interested in the chest. This dagger. Do I really care about the dagger? I don't know. Invisibility 10 foot radius. Rose already got it. And Rizard's already got it. So I was told that this rod of smiting, even though it has charges, can be used throughout the entire game. The downside is it's apparently two handed. Which. Oh, we can use it in our off hands. Okay. Or maybe... Uh, okay. Vulcan can use it in his off hand. Um... There. Okay, now he can't. Does he need... To, does it have to be... He was literally just capable, unless... What? What's going on? Okay, so he can use the long sword and the rod of smiting, but not a short sword and the rod of smiting. I am... Okay. One to eight, or one to six, one to eight. All right, so the, the short sword plus two. Now he... What? Is this because he's a dwarf, maybe? I have no idea. All right. So I guess a short sword plus two. Maybe maybe it's because he's a fighter. I don't. I have no idea what the reasoning behind that is. But OK. Anyways. Let's uh, swap some spells around on Rove. Let's get rid of the magic missiles. Take some burning hands, drop the ice knives, get some scorchers. Um, I'm gonna stick with Flame Arrow for single target, third level, it seems better than Fireball. And... I forgot, I forgot we had a, an Ice Storm on, on Rizard. Good to know, we rested for 48 hours. Is this something I can interact with right here? No. Video games. All right, we have a lot of fuego, and uh, Billy Nomates did confirm that Rods of Smiting specifically leaves charges on golems, which is what I thought, but I am appreciative all the same, because, yeah, still 12 charges. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I always liked having them in, like, when we played 2nd Edition back in the day, if I were playing a cleric, 
which by and large I were, was grammar. Typically I've played a lot of clerics. I like playing clerics. Clerics, oracles, you can die. What the fuck are you? Good God. Took some damage. Uh, anyways, the end goal weapons weapon wise was always like a rod of smiting. I'm curious about ice storm. How is this? Okay, so ice storm is ice storm is ice storm. All right, ice storm is ice storm as we know it. So given what we've seen, uh, we've been in this one. I'm gonna start marking off the ones that we've been in. Given what we've seen, that there are, are, I assume, what I assume to be whites out here. I think this is actually episode 10? Is this episode 10? Have I been saving in the wrong slot? Let me check really quick. Hold my recording drive. Uh, this is in fact episode 10. 1-0, not 109, Gene. You're bad at video games, but you're not that bad at video games. Anyways, I'm assuming that we're going to get ganked by some level drainer in one of these. But I guess not this one. So yeah, I'm just waiting with Hold Undead. I'm not so worried about the ghouls. They hit really hard, but they seem to not maybe paralyze us? I don't know. Uh, yeah, Falcon loses a level. Oh, these are vampires. Okay. Reloading. You gotta love that there's a vampire as soon as we come in, and since the game's real time, like, we just lose levels. I don't think we can come in on an angle, can we? I mean, I guess kind of? Maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. So... We're facing it, so if I if I side strafe, am I gonna be facing that wall? It'll be like right there'll be a wall in front of us. Yes, okay. So since we know that there was a vampire in this one on the right, I thought those things were whites, but no, I think we saw a white um back in the church. So we wanna side strafe into this. And just immediately. Oh I botched it! Oh, any levels? Any levels? No. Levels. Yeah, Falcon lost a fighter level. God. Is there even anything in here? Oh. Got a bad wall. Yeah, we got that. We have... Neg oh, fuck you, game. A bunch of cleric scrolls, so nothing worth anything. So I'm going to mark this one as... Been in, but vamp, so that I know that that chaps my vittles that they're immune to hold on dead. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, given that I would imagine vampires are quite powerful. But also, fuck you, game. It does explain why they take so much to put down, though. Vampires are like... I think in 1st and 2nd edition, they're like 8 hit die, maybe more than that. They're very powerful. Like, level draining notwithstanding vampires. Oh, they do paralyze! Falcon's paralyzed. Nice. Okay, cool. It just appears to be very, either very rare or we're just making our saves like crazy. Not really going to complain about either of those. Wait a minute. What was that? What is this? Unusual golden dust. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is use it. Doesn't do anything. We eat it. We can't eat it. All can use it, no. Tentative quest item. Let's go find somewhere to nap. Falcon needs to sleep off his, his spinal injury. Mm, excuse me. I'm telling you guys, I start recording and the road just starts getting scratchy. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get light going. The light spell is so ridiculous. Like, it is. 
it just it makes everything except the sky apparently um max light level so like all of the terrain goes max light it just looks kind of bad like it needs to not have quite that much range and then it probably wouldn't be as off-putting oh can we read this we not so hasty in passing, this curious herald upon the wall deserves examining. Yes, I'm trying, Rove. Here lies Victor Grimmig. Rich in jewels, but poor with hate. He fought with life and hoped to cheat his fate. Is he a vampire? Perhaps a lich. Oh, we can't. Oh, there's a key. Uh, can we pick it? Nope. Atalax, master thief of the realm. Tells me that any plot relevant lock of which most are in this, apparently, cannot be picked. I don't know. I did not mean to cast Fireball, but okay, sure. Like, I understand... I understand wanting to... For lack of a better... For lack of better phrasing, I should say. Um... You want to funnel characters, players, into certain directions so that they do things in a certain order in your game. Fine. Okay. Don't give me a class that can pick locks and then not let them pick any locks when it's literally all their class has. Okay, and this dagger. Bro, if you do have improved identify, let's, uh... I was going to say, why do I have these special scrolls on me? These cleric scrolls, but no, they're best related. What do we got? Crap and crap. Yeah, ghoul noises that wave playing on a constant loop. That scream is pretty rough. There's something over there. I'll be with you momentarily. I'm killing the minions. I have an ice storm. I should have an ice storm. Ice storm's pretty good, you guys. Is that an NPC or just a purple monster? You an NPC? Yeah, you look like an NPC. Possibly of bandit-like origins. What you got? Wait a minute. Thought I saw a falcon attack. Who are you? Strange man. Halt where you are, by helm you'll find yourself in residence here permanently! Explain yourself, man! Uh, what's to explain? Only one reason to be here this time of day. Aren't we all after a few trinkets? Whatever's left behind to ease these souls through the night. Is it a dirty job? Yes, it is. Not for the timid. Oh my god, he's a grave robber! Who would do such a thing? Uh. So I assume this guy can join my party. Courage you may have, but not of a sort I'm willing to stomach. Only because your blood might stain my hands. Do you stand alive? Come back on your knees and I'll check your gender. Good God. I did voice acting once. Literally once. I have one credit as some weird half Aussie thief, ditch digger NPC in Ravenloft, Strahd's possession. It was a real banger that one it was. What, what cheerio pip pip? Say no more. Insert other... Ooh, another Ice Storm scroll for Rove. Now Rove has a useful spell. Wonderful. Uh, nothing else? Nothing else. But I use for fourth level spell slots, of which he has two, and that's further AoE. Fucking Cone of Cold just sitting there mocking. It's like, I know you want me to not be shit, but I am. Meanwhile, Rizard's like, I can cast Ice Storm and you can't, Rove. And Rove's like, well, guess what? Now I can cast it too, but twice. And then he like, I don't know, smacks Rizard's spell book out of his hand. And when Rizard goes to pick it up, Falcon gives them both wedgies because they're fucking wizards. Good God. So many healing potions. 
Okay, one more and that'll be full. Cure disease. I don't think we've yet seen disease in this. Realistically... Realistically, I don't know what we would have fought up to this point that would inflict us with disease. No vampire. Alright. Hey, look, guys. It's paper dolls that have been colored gray and made into statues. Weird. Video games. Not even once. I'm actually gonna put... Locked. So that I don't forget, because otherwise I am positive that I will. Hello, friendo. I'm just gonna melee you to- yeah. You, though, I can stay right over there. Nope. The upside to fighting vampires is they should be worth quite a bit of experience, but... I don't know. It feels like- it feels like leveling in this one is a lot slower, but I think that's probably mostly due to me not being able to cheese stone golems at the very beginning of the game and gain, like, half a dozen levels across the board. Man, just imagine bringing, like, importing a party from this into Stone Profit and then cheeseballing the, the golems. I'm curious what level you'd end up doing. I could, because, like, I mean, by the time we finished, by the time we finished Stone Profit, we were, like, I think low teens, right? That seems about right. I think Rovehead. No, we might not have been that high. It might have been like maybe 10th or 11th. So I was gonna say, I don't think Rove had like... I think he had 6th level spells. Like, cause yeah, we could now disintegrate 5th, I don't know. Ignore me! Old man ghost is getting senile. Not mean to throw that, but you can't have a fireball. You can have another one too. Fuck it. Fireballs for everybody! Ooh, that was a good one. Where is he? I just want the experience points. Yeah, they're not bad XP. It's not crazy. It's not as good as I would hope. But it's not too bad. Now, level drainers. Oh, they're horrible. Even if you have a cleric, they're horrible because negative plane protection only lasts for one hit. Ugh. Immediately backs right, right out. Oh my god. All right, Falcon. At your level 7, that thing had you down to 5 the last time we bumped into one of these fucking things. God damn it. Vulcan lost a level. Chunk did not. What do we have? Oh, Ring of Wizardry and Lightning Bolt. Alright. So this is mandatory then, is what I'm being told. Not mean to cast that. Oh, and the last charge! Wonderful. What else do we have? We don't want a frost to work. Stop it! Stop it! Kill it! Kill it! God damn it, Falcon! Did you lose a level? You didn't! Haha! <laughs> Esports! First try. Never a doubt in my mind. Alright. Lightning Bolt! Ring of Wizardry! Cloak. That it? Oh, let's have a look. See, third level. Yes, yes. Blessed lightning bolt, you have returned to me in the one game where I will ever use you over fireball. I'm excited. Very, very excited. So, is lightning bolt in this like? Stone Prophet Lightning Bolt? Let's find out. Well, there's a, a vampire way out here. Let's, uh... These things are respawning. Okay... So does it say? Oh, it's not the good one. It doesn't puncture. And it seems to do shit damage. Or this thing's got like a trillion hit points. It could be either... Oh, that is such a shame. I'm not too upset. Wow, Rove. Shameful display. 
I'm not too upset because we did still get a um, a ring of wizardry out of that. I think that was this one? I want to just double check and make sure because I didn't mark it. I think it was this one. Yes. And sleep again just to top up spells. And I will save out here. But first, this. Save. Okay. Auto map. Where have we yet to go? So we have a door to the south. I remember, like, we there's a there's bullshit to get in here. If I remember correctly, we can't just walk in. I remember this area quite strongly from my original playthrough. Sounds like a fucking banshee or something out here. Oh, paralyzed. I just can't believe how good Burning Hands is, if I'm being honest. This texture, like... There's buggery going on. Where? Just fuck off. I'm admiring the wall textures. Leave me be. What the fuck? Game's making sounds and I don't like it. Is, can we like talk to one of these or something? Oh no, we have writing. Shut up, Rove. In death, our sister wards below, secure in this her lover's tomb. Her voice, an angry, grieving shadow raised to avenge her lover's doom. Her cry, a wail through all eternity, doth shriek, doth slay the intruding foe. At this place where evil jealousy did deal the evil blow. In death, elves of Avernath must go, but this our prince denied. So here with faith through darkest fate, we stand watching immortal pride. Dust to dust our blessing gains, a magic to calm our sister's soul, and then again, and then below, seek out the sign that to Avernath will release us all. Okay, so she's a banshee then. They mentioned dust. We gotta sprinkle this. Aha, I'm a genius! Ah! -ha. Patient guardian, will you speak? Reveal the secret over which you stand your silent watch. In ghostly grief, our sister wails. A lament to burst the hearts of mortal men. Long ago, an evil prince pursued us to this place to vanquish our sister's love. As we stand without, her spirit watches over him within the tomb. There, his signet lies hidden. His honor and his only link to Avene, cast down by the jealous lord. Only my blessing, when rightly asked, may calm our sister's tears. Uh, how can we do that? Speak not of blessings before the story in its breadth unfolds. To find yet another doorway to the truth, my twin holds the second key. Okay. So we gotta find more magic dust. Wonderful! I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one so that I know that I did the, the dust sprinklings there. Okay, uh, basically what I'm going to do is we're going to have to wander around and check our mini-map every so often to just see if there's dust laying around out here somewhere. There are a couple more of these, uh, I assume they're supposed to be crypts that we have yet to explore. I would use the term plunder, but that implies that we're doing it purely for monetary gains and not out of altruism. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, I didn't expect this loot to be guarded. Oh, hey. Ooh, Axe of Hurling. Yoink! What else you got? A shield. A broad sword. A, what is it? A broad sword? There we go. One day I'll remember. Identify. Anything worth anything? No. 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 All right, well, that was certainly something. It's got any of that, that sweet, sweet magic dust? No? How come you can hold a pole arm, but we can't? Damn it. Well, I can't ditch too much. There are, there are spears in Morrowind? Morrowind? What the fuck, Gene? 
in um, Menzel Baron's in. It's the letter M, you guys. When I just when I have to think of a game that starts with the letter M, I immediately go to a good one, and that's Morrowind, not Menzel Baron's in. How dare I? No. Okay. I've got any of them hidden walls, maybe? Hidden wall, hidden wall, nothing. All right. Buttons. Just a real quick once over here. Just why? Why do the plants move? It's just creepy. I do not understand. Okay. Um. So we have this one up here. Oh, and apparently there were two over here. I didn't even see those. Okay. We'll go do those first. There's that one that has the vampire in it, but man, I just... Can't imagine any rest in peace here. There are undead about numbers sufficient to wake the dead and do grievous injury to the living. My brother in Christ, we've been enfuegoing them this entire time. We got this. Oh, is this just going back? No, it's not. Okay. I was not expecting this to be like... All right, like, sure. I don't know what I was expecting with this. Honestly, I wasn't expecting anything. But we've got like these little guard rooms, like storeroom type areas. Like, there's no point to them. They're just empty, but they're here. Like, I love it. Freaking great. Makes me happy. Very, very tabletop D&D. This town has, you know, 800 buildings. Six of them have interesting things in them. Here's a D1000 table to roll on for the other, you know, 794 of them. Good luck. That is like a very... That is like an, a first edition or a second edition D&D &D thing. Cross to the tables. Like here, have this huge delve and we'll detail the important, like, story plot point I shouldn't say plot point but like the major locations and then the rest is like up to the DM to do there's this god there's this this huge old module that like that was basically like 80% of it I think it was like the lost city of Moa Chan or something where like they detail out like the broad strokes and then it's up to the DM to fill in the rest which I don't know where I sit on that kind of thing like, part of me likes being able to kind of make modules my own, but at the same time, like... If I paid you for a module, don't be like, Ha ha, here are three map areas. You get to do the rest of the work, even though you paid us to do it for you. But I do like having a little bit of wiggle room, though, to, like, kind of, you know, tinker with things to, to better fit your group and such. Hey, guys, where are you hiding the fucking powder? I'm keeping. I was gonna say I'm keeping out on this fucking vampire. Nope, none of that. Uh, I imagine they might be immune to cold damage. That's why most of our spells aren't really doing all that much. Fuckers are probably immune to lightning bolts, aren't you too? You, you Smurf-looking motherfucker. The, the projectile collision in this is just so bad. I'm not even gonna. Not even gonna. Man. We have to go into that place with the vampire, don't we? I didn't think there was anything in there. There may be. Of course, having sprinkled that dust, maybe we can just talk with the other. Um. Statue. I don't know the right oh god i love trying to attack something and the game's like no you meant to back up there right because yeah this is just a little cleric stash of just utmost disappointment and shame bro rove chunk did you i don't think chunk actually lost any levels there all right fuck it i'll take the win and we'll just have a nappy and and go ahead and save 
Uh, I am gonna go and try... Come on, guys, walk through the wall, please. Thank you. I'm gonna go try and talk to the other statue. See if we can maybe do that. And if not, well... We're gonna have to be... Hunting down that, that sweet, sweet Colombian gold next time. It is gonna be funny to me if this did activate both of them. Did it? You wanna talk to me too? No, you're like, get fucked, kid. I hate you. Well, shit. I'm sure I can't. Oh no, we can go in here. Oh, yeah, there's the Banshee. I was gonna say, I think they're they're actually called like groaning spirits. I don't know, it legit calls them a, a banshee. Okay. Wow. Video games. I wonder if you can actually kill that thing. That'd be a cool uh, a cool allowance if they let you kill it. I, I can't imagine you really realistically could without some pretty stunning losses, but I mean, they let you try. On that note, though, I do I think... Fuck off, Lord Delts Hall. I do think I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. So as per usual, folks, thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time. And I will see you all next time when Powder Hunt begins. Until then! Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series. See if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel. Be the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.